Keyword research was once the foundation for any successful Google Ads search campaign. And so much so that for a long time, your ability to be able to perform a keyword search in the right way really came down to whether not only your campaigns, but your business would be a success. And what this meant was that companies who were managing their own Google Ads campaigns and freelancers and digital agencies that were managing campaigns for other businesses, they would spend hours upon hours in order to not only get the right keywords, but then structure those keywords into the right campaigns and ad groups. Once again, because getting that keyword research right was a core requirement for success with Google Ads. Personally, I know for me that keyword research at its best was a couple of hours, and at its worst could be more than a day or two for larger campaigns. But what if I told you that right now, I hardly spend any time at all with doing keyword research for a new campaign. Now, before you start posting angry comments in the comment section of this video, I want you to stick with me so that I can fully explain what I mean. And also show you the best way and the most profitable way to do keyword research in 2024. Now, as I said, for many years, I would spend hours upon hours, sometimes days, in not only completing keyword research, but then breaking it into different ad groups, different campaigns, and then writing three different ads for each ad group, once again in the old days with three headlines and two descriptions. And trust me, it was hectic and there were some absolutely large campaigns that I put together. For example, check out this extreme case. This was some keyword research that we completed for a company here in Australia and this one was an absolute monster. It had over 1800 different keywords. As you can see, all broken into different campaigns and ad groups. And it wasn't just a single sheet, it was sheet upon sheet of different keywords. Once again, as I said, all broken into different campaigns, ad groups, and then those keywords. And then for each of those sheets, we also had to then go through and break out those different ads. And as you can see, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Now, as I said, that example I showed you was an extreme case, but even for smaller campaigns, it would still take at least one to two hours to complete your keyword research and then break it out into the different ad groups and campaigns. So now that brings us to the question of why I don't do that anymore. And as I said, it really comes down to us, I just don't see the benefit in it. And there is a much better way to complete your keyword research in 2024. And the reason for why the way that we complete keyword research research in 2024 is very different to what it was a matter of two or three years ago, all comes down to the changes that have occurred, not only inside of Google Ads, but also the user's Google search experience. So firstly, within the Google Ads dashboard, as has been well documented, and I've taught about time and time again on this channel, Google has changed the way that keyword match types work, with Google now no longer targeting the words in the phrase, but the meaning of that phrase. And over a number of years, it's also played around so that exact match keywords aren't actually exact match anymore. And so that we don't get too stuck up on those changes because in this video, I do really wanna focus on the correct way to do keyword research right now in 2024. If you stick around to the end of this video, I will show you where you can watch some extra training right here on my YouTube channel, which takes you through and explains those changes to keyword match types in greater depth. But what I do wanna stress is not only have those changes occurred inside Google Ads, but as I said, the actual user's search experience has changed. Now, this is one area that a lot of Google Ads professionals have forgotten. Because we can be so focused on what is happening inside of Google Ads, we can forget about the differences that have occurred to users when they complete their Google search. So what we need to keep focus on is the bigger picture of what is happening inside of the whole Google Ads experience. Not only for us, the Google Ads manager, but also for the user. And remembering that those users are the ones that we wanna target with our ads. The reality is, is that the way that people use Google and Google search has changed. Now, I may be showing my age a little bit, but when this whole search thing came on board, I remember that for me, AltaVista was my search engine of choice. I remember carefully crafting out the search phrase that I wanted to put together, because when I press search, I didn't get those results straight away. It would take a couple of seconds to come through. So you really put a lot of effort into getting that search phrase right. And if you got a little bit more technical, you could add pluses and minuses in order to refine that search. But those days are now long gone. And even over the last 12 months, further changes have come into the way that users are searching for things on Google. And I just wanna give you two core stats now. You may not be aware of this, but over the last 12 months, 
User queries with over five words or more in the search phrase are growing by 1.5 times. So what that means is now users are getting more particular with what they're searching. So for example, rather than just searching men's Nike Air Max shoes, they'll also add in the type of colors that they want and some other elements in there. And then also remember that 15% of all Google searches that happen on any given day are brand new, in that they've never been searched before. And that number I predict will skyrocket over the couple of months as Google search and other search platforms change over to a more conversational search experience. And all of this brings us back to the way that we used to do keyword research. Remember that Google sheet I showed you with over 1800 different keywords, 20 different campaigns, 50 different ad groups. The reality is, is that that level of keyword research is just not required anymore. And the reason for that is it comes down to the fact that there's just more and more new search terms happening every day, whereas keyword research reports on past trends. I want to be clear on this. I'm definitely not saying that keyword research is not important. What I'm saying is, is that we just need to do it now in a very different way. And the good news is, is that this actually saves time for you and me, the Google Ads professional. So right now we're going to do two things. First, I'm going to give you the structure of how you want your keywords to look. And then I am going to take you through that step-by-step -step process of completing your keyword research with Google's Keyword Planner in 2024. So the core structure that you want is firstly, you want to have ad groups built around a single theme. If you've been around Google Ads for a little while, you may be familiar with the term SCAGs, where now we're not doing SCAGs, so no more single keyword ad groups. It's all about STAGs, so those single theme ad groups, where we're grouping together those keyword phrases that we want to target that have the same meaning, so that we are still giving the user a highly relevant experience in that they're seeing the most relevant ads, which are taking them through to the most relevant landing pages. But then the second thing, and this is probably where it's changed the most, inside of those individual ad groups, you wanna have two things happening. You wanna have two or three long tail broad match keywords. And by long tail broad match, I mean at least three words, but ideally four or five words. And that comes back to, remember what I said earlier, where user search turns with more than five words and are growing one and a half times faster than any other type of search. The other benefit of that is that every extra word that you add into your broad match keyword phrase gives Google greater context into the true meaning of what you're trying to target. Remember now with keyword match targeting, Google targets the meaning of the keyword phrase, not the words inside of that phrase. And then what you want to do from there is that when you've got your broad match keywords, once your campaign is running, you're building out extra exact match keywords and you find these exact match keywords through completing your search term audits. And when you're doing the search term audits, you're doing two things. You're not only adding in your negative keywords, but you're also adding in extra exact exact match keywords. And you add these in because these are keyword phrases which are converting or they're highly relevant keyword phrases that you wanna make sure that your ads appear for when the user completes that search. So with all of that said, let's now jump into a screen share so I can show you how to complete that step-by-step -step process of completing your keyword research in 2024. But to help you with this, and remember how I said just before about completing your search term audits, if you wanna know exactly how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns, including how to complete those search term audits, audits so you can get the best results with your search campaigns. What I want you to do is I want you to follow that link in the description below so you can get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. But right now, let's jump into that screen share so I can take you through the process of completing keyword research with Google's Keyword Planner. All right, so when you're inside of Google Ads, you wanna go into the tools section. When you're in tools, you wanna go into planning, which is in here, and then you wanna go to the Keyword Planner. And then from there, we wanna go to discover new keywords. Now, in this example, we're gonna use the keywords of absence tracking software and employee tracking timesheets. Then from there, we go through and click get results. Now there's a couple of things that we can do in through here. So firstly, you see that Google will start to give you some different recommendations. And from here, I'll go through and have a quick look and I can see that this one, we wanna see data on this by employee time tracking system. And I might also add employee tracking software and absence tracking system. Now it's important to note that you can add up to initially 10 different keywords. Now what this will also do is you can see over here to the right, you've got some different examples that you can add in. What we want to do is for me, I want to get rid of all of these brands and we just want to focus on non-branded traffic. And depending on what your 
those search terms are, Google will give you some prompts as to whether you want to include some related or similar search themes. For these ones, these are not relative to me. Same with module and same with these other ones. I'm just having a look and none of them are relevant for what we're looking for. Now, the other thing of what you can actually do is you can see down here, we've got some things around free. You can actually go through into here and add in a filter. We're going to go keyword and we can say we do not want it to contain and we're going to type in the word free and then that filters out any of the search terms which include free. What you could also do with this as well is let's just say you really wanted software in there or if you didn't want the word software in there, you could add that in as a filter and what that's doing is it's just allowing you to refine the number of keywords without actually going through it line by line. So what you can also see through here is you can also see the data of the keywords you provided and then keyword ideas and then across from here you can see things like your average monthly searches, the three month change letting you know whether this is going up or down, year on year change. If you're ever unsure on what any of these means, if you just roll your mouse or your cursor over the top of the table, you can then see what that table is about and what that data is referring to. And then you come over to here, you can see your bids. The top of page low range bid, meaning those positions three or four. Top of page bid high range, meaning those positions one and two. Now the way that Google keyword targeting is working right now, I'm very much looking at trends. And what I'm looking to find is two or three broad match keywords that I can use as a start. But I also do go through and have a look just to see if there's any others which I think straight away are going to be really good exact match keywords. So I can see here that I've got my absence tracking software, employee time tracking software, but there's another theme that we didn't have in there and that's things around time clocks for small business, time clock app, online time clock for small business. So there's some really good keyword themes for me to add in there. So then it's just a matter of going through and clicking to see if there is any other keywords which I think are really relevant for the services that we're looking to promote. Okay, then once we've selected all of these, we've got 12 keywords to select. We can then go through and click on add keywords to create plan. Then you can just go down here and click on view saved keywords. From there, I'll just do one more check. And then if I'm happy with all of that, I'll then download this into either a Google Sheet or a CSV file. And so that we can keep this all online, we'll just do this over to a Google Sheet. And then once that is completed, you can then go through and click open sheet. And then from there, it's just a matter of me going through and cleaning this up and putting this into the same ad groups and campaigns. So let me do that quickly now and then I'll come through and explain what I've done. All right, so what I've done now is I've done a couple of things to the sheet. Apart from just going through and structuring it and reordering it, I've added in these two new columns. We've got a campaign column and an ad group column. And then what I've done through here, you can see that we've gone through and we've broken this out and we can see that we've got four different ad groups that we're gonna focus on, which is absence tracking, timekeeping, time clock, and attendance software. And then we've got our initial keywords. Now, the way that I would structure for this one, these longer ones would be our broad match. For some of these ones in through here, I would be happy to keep both of them as broad broad match. But for timekeeping, because we've got more keywords, what I would do in here is I'd probably add these three as broad match and then I'd have a couple of exact match keywords ready to go. And let me show you what this looks like at the start of a search campaign. And what I'm showing you here is an ad group which we only started seven days ago. And you can see through here, we've got three different broad match keywords. Now, sometimes you will get a low search volume warning. I'm not too worried about that as in a broad match setting. And the reason why that's coming in is because Google just doesn't have that data but because we're focusing the meaning, that will be more than okay. And then what we've done from here is that over the first seven days, we've already started to build out our exact match keywords. And we've chosen this based on our search term audits and the way that you do this is go up into your search terms. And as you can see, we've done two things. We've gone through and added in our exclusions or negative keywords. We've also gone through and added in our new keywords, which when we add them in, we're adding them in as exact match keywords. So as you can see, that's a much quicker, but it is also a more profitable way for you to be able to complete your keyword research research. The one thing that I do want to stress, I want you to steer clear of two word broad match keywords because that's just a recipe for disaster. And you also do want to make sure that especially when you're starting a new campaign, that you are regularly completing your keyword search term audits so that you can add in those extra negative keywords. And remember, if you want that full schedule of how to complete all of your optimization actions in Google Ads, make sure you follow that link in the description below. And then the only thing that I would say as well is that if you are in a high CPC niche, so something like a lawyer or emergency plumbing. At the start, I do look to start with exact match only keywords. And what I'm talking about there is that if you're dealing in a niche where you've got a CPC, which is above, you know, 30, 40, $50. In some cases, I've seen CPC go up to $150. And in those cases, you definitely want to stick with an exact match strategy. Thank you for joining me. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here. And as promised early in this video, if you want to know more about the changes to key match targeting, I want you to go through and watch this video 
here. See you next time.